Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. All right, welcome back. We've had beautiful weather for our Sunday, and of course, it was nice having an LSU win and also a Saints win too for this weekend. Just beautiful conditions for our Sunday, and it's not looking too bad this morning. But again, later this week, we are looking at some tropical trouble to impact our area. But look at those beautiful clouds that we have, those nice sunshines, uh, colors that we see right there, and also it's 69 degrees now, and it feels like 77 winds are out of the northeast at six miles per hour. So here's a look at the current temps. It's still 56 in Woodville, Mississippi, 64 in Kentwood, and also in Slaughter. And our dew points are still in the 50s. So again, it's a nice, comfortable, pleasant beginning to our day as we still have cooler temperatures and lower humidity. Now our highs will be in the mid and upper 80s for today. And also we'll have cloud coverage increasing once again a little bit later on for your Monday. We'll see some isolated showers in the coastal parishes just a little bit around late morning, early afternoon hours. Then we'll start to see more rain pushing into our area later this afternoon and into this evening. As of now, still looking at isolated shower activity for the most part for your Monday afternoon and evening. So now here's potential tropical cyclone six. So it still has wind speeds of 50 miles per hour, and we're still going to be watching its development over these next couple of days as it continues moving north through the Gulf. Now, as of this morning, it's continuing on this north northwest track at five miles per hour, but then it's going to take a little shift to the east, curve back to the northeast and make landfall late Wednesday night near southwest Louisiana. So it's still likely to become a category one hurricane as it makes landfall. Now there are tropical storm watches in effect for most of the Texas coast and will likely have tropical storm watches issued for the Louisiana coast within the next day. So more moisture is going to continue to pull northward from the Gulf. And as the system continues to move more and more into our area, of course, that's going to be higher moisture content. And then we'll start to see a decrease in that moisture at the end of the week as the system moves away. So looking at your Tuesday, showers are possible in the morning, more so for your Tuesday afternoon and evening. Rain coverage increases for Tuesday night and also in overnight to your Wednesday. And of course, we're still looking at some heavy rainfall to occur on Wednesday and also Thursday too. We have a marginal risk and a slight risk split over South Louisiana. We have a marginal risk in place for counties in Southwest Mississippi, most of the greater Baton Rouge area, with a slight risk for flash flooding, more so in the coastal parishes and greater New Orleans area. And then between early Wednesday morning and early Thursday morning, there's this moderate risk, which is a higher level of flash flooding that's in place. And we also have a marginal risk for severe weather in place on Wednesday. So looking at an isolated tornado threat in addition to the heavy rain, gusty winds and stronger thunderstorms to occur. So our estimated rainfall amounts are still around three to five inches over most of South Louisiana over these next few days, more so between Wednesday and Thursday. And of course, we could see some locally higher amounts with some spots that receives a little bit more rain than others. So Tuesday, Wednesday through Thursday, main days of concern, more so Wednesday and Thursday. But then at the end of the week, we'll be drying out again and still remaining drier for the weekend.